What is going on guys? My name is Scott Ozeffer and welcome back to another new video. I'm just going to give you guys an update before we go any further. Uh, this might be my last video for a couple days, maybe three or four. I usually post every three days, you might see it's four. I'm getting all of my wisdom teeth taken out tomorrow, which is absolutely terrifying. And obviously with that happening, I'm going to have a very sore mouth from what I'm aware. And I probably won't be able to talk as much as I'd like to. So there might be a little bit of dip in content, but I will do my absolute best to be posting and doing what I usually do as much as possible. I have a tournament on Wednesday, so hopefully I will be able to live stream that and you guys can watch that and I'll make a video out of it. But obviously I just wanted to let you guys know that just in case obviously things aren't as they normally are. So let's get into the video. So today I am using my Paldea Prologue team, the team I'm going to use in the official online Pokemon Scarlet and Violet tournament. I'm really in love with this team. It's got a bit of everything. It can stop Trick Room. It can continue to heal allies. It can do stupid amounts of damage. And it's got loads of kit. Um, it's kind of a mix of what I'd usually use, but with a couple bits here and there and some custom EV patterns. And I'm really, really happy with the team. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, as said, I should hopefully be posting content just as normal. I'm really hoping so anyway. It's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> but if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on my post notifications so that you never miss a video. And yeah, that's about it. If you want to use the team, the code for the rental team is in the corner as per usual. And yeah, let's get into the video. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. I've been Scott Zephyr, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I tell you what, King Gambit Fire Tower is looking hella good here by the Garchomp. But then I think we just tie it with... Do we tie it? Right, I want my Metal on the field on turn one. I think I want that guy as well. No. I'm gonna take Flutter. And I'm gonna... I'm actually... I actually think I'll bring Reptar this time. Through Ledge. Yeah. Among Us? Among Sussy? Sussy Barker? Yes, I think so. Alright, let's go. Through a legend flutter made. Okay, that's okay. We can work around this. This is fine. I think we're straight up iron head here, and I think we protect this first turn. Yeah. Fire Terror is extremely good on turn one here, and that's the reason we're doing it, because it completely removes the worry of damage from Moonblast. Slash dazzling gleam. Well it doesn't remove it, but it nullifies it a lot, and then it makes through ledge. A lot easier to deal with and it doesn't make my king gambit die so i wouldn't be surprised if we see yeah the terror terror grass i expect a terror grass yeah terror dark okay that's fine now we have that info for next turn we can just moon blast your through legend to the graveyard now very different terror like that. Terrifier is probably one of the best aggressive types in the game. Does that flat mean protect? No! It locks in. Crazy. Okay. Now you best hope that thing's sash. Better blade. Fringe damage. <laughs> Big 30. Yeah, you got the Sash variant. That's fair. I mean, we just sucker punch that slot and moon blast the other slot now. Like, you kind of just let me do as I please here. Um, actually, I'm going to cut out Cleave here because I can respect that there might be a swap in here. And I'm not looking to waste a turn. Yes, I'll take it to some damage potentially. But I'd rather take the damage than lose my thing. I knew it. I knew you wouldn't make the ballsy play, but you'd make me think you'd make the ballsy play. Now the penguin gets caught out cleave. The penguin is not going to be happy about that. Oh, okay. Lucky we run in the bulky flutter main, innit? Goodbye, problem. Probably very worried about what Gambit's got planned here, so. Have a nice Quartal Cleave, courtesy of me, sir. Wow, that is some damage. Bundle can just um, Hydro Pump my Gambit here, but I'm not sure if it kills or not. Like, I'm gonna say it could, but I'm gonna say there's also a roll there. So, now this is the biggest problem here. I need to deal with that now rather than later. So, we're gonna Terrify her here. And 
No, actually, no, we're not. We're going to Sucker Punch this slot and we're going to Moonblast this slot. I would much rather keep my Gambit up right now than my Flutter. Oh, no way. Come on, my boy, live. <laughs> Built like a tank. Decent damage. Blizzard? Does he Blizzard? Blizzard probably does take out my my Gambit here. That's the reality. Yeah, this probably takes out my Gambit. Yeah. All right, we can still win this. This is still possible. Still winnable. Always winnable. Do I reckon I outspeed the Abomber Snow? Do you know what I do? I reckon I do outspeed the Abomber Snow. I reckon I close combat the Abomber Snow slot. We close combat this slot. And we clear smog this slot. Yes. Don't know if that just means positives or not. Oh, okay. Oh, he made a huge read there. That's fair enough. That is very bad. <laughs> Among Us doing the huge things there. Bundle down. I wonder if we can actually get away with this this turn. This is iffy. We have to protect this turn. Because flat main outspeeds no matter. I can't spore the Abomber Snow. I think I just have to send it into the Among Us. Does the flat main no dazzling gleam? That's the question. We're going for the flat main anyway. Oh, what a read. Okay. I should have double... No, double protect wouldn't have done nothing here. I think I just lose now. No way. It all comes down to a double protect now. It all comes down to the double protect. It's the RNG gods' decision now. Let's see what they have to say. That's actually massive. Oh my god. There's no shot that this is about to happen. And then it comes down to if we can do enough damage or close combat next turn. What in the freaking world just happened? One HP. That's insane. It all comes down to if I can do enough damage with this close combat now. Like, I thought this game was over. It might still be over. Can Tusk do it? Oh my god. Double one HP Pokemon into a win. That is incredible. That guy's team was really good as well. I rate that guy's team. Respect. I like the shadow. The shadow. The surreal edge.